Oh my god, December Community Day is gonna be insane! This is gonna be a short video just to talk about Community Day and what's gonna go down. Trainers, we want to thank you for making this year's Community Day so special. All over the world, in all kinds of weather, trainers gather to catch an array of Pokemon species and hope for a glimpse of a shiny Pokemon. In order to celebrate a fantastic year of Community Days, every Pokemon species featured during these events will appear in the wild again all around the world for a special weekend long event. Dang, oh my god. I'm still processing this right now. Oh my god, okay. From Friday, November 30th at 1 p.m. PST to Sunday, December 2nd at 11 p.m. Wow, 11 p.m., okay. All the feature moves from each, okay, this is a, okay, this is a most, like the biggest news that I want to talk to you guys about. Feature moves from each community day will be available during this time frame. So you can evolve any of your Pokemons that you missed out on to get the move sets. And oh my god, so, uh, Jesus. Double catch XP, oh my god, double catch XP. Double catch Stardust and double incubator distance is going to decrease the incubator distance. This is a way to end 2018, all right? So much things going on for a three day weekend, like hashtag no sleep, hashtag shiny bukake. There's so much, I'm not gonna sleep. So I guess we'll talk about which one you got to care about. For one, Jatini. If you guys have a shiny Jatini that you have caught before outside of the event, you can evolve it to a nice green Dragonite with Draco Meteor. It's not as good as Dragon Tail, but still, Draco Meteor is gonna be a, a quick legacy move and we don't know if they're gonna bring it back Again, like this. Of course, Tyranitar was Smackdown. I have so many shiny Lava Toys that I didn't get to evolve because I ran out of candy. I honestly just ran out of candy because I evolved like eight Lava Toys to Tyranitars. And so I want to evolve more with Smackdown. And hopefully I can trade it with my best friends to, you know, get their Smackdown Tyranitar. Hopefully a shiny one and increase my IVs because I do have a lot of shinies, but the IVs are not as good. Nonetheless though, in this time frame, you know, some of you guys probably have best friends that you guys can trade with. With best friends, it will increase your chances of getting a high IV Pokemon. So to have a high IV Pokemon to learn Smackdown Draco Meteor will be amazing. Mareep is going to learn Dragon... With, what was it, Dragon Pulse? Charmander is gonna learn Blast Burn. Squirtle is gonna learn Flash Cannon. Bulbasaur is gonna learn f uh, Frenzy Plant. Shiny Eevees, okay, cool. He's gonna learn Last Resort, but I think out of all the Community Day Pokemon that we have gotten already, it's, it's a normal type of attack, but we evolve it to Espeon, Umbeon, Flareon, Joseon, uh, and Vaporeon. It just, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna get a stab. So it's not idea for Pokemon Go at the moment. Cyndaquil, we just had Cyndaquil Community Day, which you gonna learn Blast Burn. Uh, Chikorita, you gonna learn Frenzy Plant. Beldum. So Beldum, I want more. I don't know why I'm so thirsty for Meteor Mash, but because it's such a good move set, I, I don't know, I, I just really like Meteor Mash. <laughs> I don't know why I want it so bad, but I do. So I have a couple more shinies that I didn't get to evolve because I literally ran out of, I evolved 12, I think. And so I, I just ran out of candy. So I'm super excited about that. However, here is here is kind of the um, the thing that I'm wondering about. They said three hour lures. Is it between the time frame of community days, like between like 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and then the rest of the time is just a regular lure module time, 30 minutes? Either or though, it's still kind of cool to have a three hour lure session to like go at it hardcore. And to top off all this kind of madness, Nantic has given us what we wanted: extra storage space for Pokemon. You can now purchase in game. 500 additional storage for Pokemon, which is much needed right now. God! Okay, I'm gonna get that right now. What do you guys think? Should I do a live stream? I don't know. You guys let me know. And I want to finish off this video by saying happy birthday to my friend Nick, aka Trainer Tips. Dude, ever since I met you last, well, last year, last October, pretty much my life has changed from that. I'm sure you probably heard a lot of times, but you know, you know, doing the 250 people Entei raid, and then later on doing a 400 raid with you and Mystic7, and then getting to meet Holly and working with Brent to have the, the second community day event for Jutini Day was just, you know, a life-changing experience. I wouldn't be on YouTube. And I think a lot of people wouldn't be on YouTube if it wasn't for you. Happy birthday, man. Have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you soon. This is gonna end this video right now. I just wanna make this announcement for you guys. What shiny Pokemon are you excited about? You know, comment below, like my video if you like it, and subscribe to my channel for all things Pokemon Go related. Tips and tricks, I'm gonna go rating. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <clears throat> I, I want everything besides this one. <laughs> Which is probably the one I'm going to get.
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-